Good morning guys, another awesome day in Germany. I'm just about to jump into the taxi and we're gonna to go to the first school. Should be a lot of fun. We've got an awesome driver here this morning, so I'm very lucky. So we're gonna have a little tour through Leipzig and then uh, first school and then we're on to the second one. Let's go! me and we're going to give a little talk here should be awesome okay so we've just finished in the first school it's been absolutely amazing and luckily pretty much everyone understood me so it was brilliant uh, so it was great so we've got Alexander here who's a great teacher and a wonderful man and he, he helped line this up as well so it's brilliant so we're now going to be heading on to the second school and the sun is still shining. It's perfect, guys. Amazing. Okay, so I'm now arrived back at DHL. I believe I've got two talks that I'm giving it to DHL um, employees, which should be really cool. And then it's at 10 o'clock tonight, we've got a tour of their big uh, sort of production sorting facility. So the idea is tonight I'm gonna film, I'm gonna take you guys on a guided tour of what happens to all the parcels and the whole chain of how it all works from coming in here and then going back out. I'm, I'm quite looking forward to it. This is, this is DHL's largest hub um, in the world. I thought it was just uh, in Europe, but it's not. over a kilometre long. So you're either gonna get very fit or you need to get a scooter. So the guys here use scooters to get around, it's pretty cool. Well, they don't have to scan anything here downstairs. They just put it on they the belt. They just put it on the belt. So the parcels have come in off the aircraft and they're now being put on a belt. Exactly, so, um, and one, we got anything which is round or can fall down from the belt. We got these yellow boxes. Yeah, there, gotcha, gotcha. And that's the only exception we made. That means they like, like one that, of these like bags. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then put it uh, in the box from the belt. Yeah. So you can see it's a real hub of activity here. And I've just learned something quite interesting. A human being only touches a parcel in here to unload it and reload it. Everything else is fully automated. There's machines moving all around me. One over here, just behind. And that's bringing parcels down from the sorting office, which is above me, bringing them down here. And then it's being loaded on to the uh, containers. Now, you'll notice these are all weighed because it's pretty important, it's critical that they know the loading weight of the aircraft. So it's quite amazing. I, you know, this, is, this whole entire building is basically automated by a computer. And you only need a human being to physically pick the package up, unload it, and then reload it. That's, that's quite amazing. I thought there'd be someone here looking at the barcode or the, the address, but it's not. It's fully automated. It's incredible. This freight here is going to JFK. Now, you've got 2.30, so basically the red 2.30 means that that's the cutoff time for the aircraft that's going to JFK. Below that, you've got JFK, which is its destination. Below that, you've got a 00, zero. so that means there's nothing on the belt here. This belt is empty. And then below that, we've got the current uh, time, basically. So we, this here, these parcels are going to New York tonight. Cool. Uh, so you were saying the barcodes are scanned here? The barcodes are scanned and then it tells the machine where the parcel yeah. is going. So That's the real clever part That's to me. That's the clever part, yeah. Yeah. It's incredible. We've now 
now come up the top here and we've got a bird's eye view out of the whole uh, sorting facility. It's absolutely incredible. And I was just speaking to the guys. Leipzig is DHL's largest uh, global hub. Uh, so it's their largest facility in the world. It's incredible. Over 400 pieces of cargo, parcels, could be anything, are coming in here and also going out. And that happens in the space of about three hours. Incredible. So far, I've just given a little bit of a talk to some of the employees here, some of the technicians, and we had a great tour around the sorting facility. We're now going to go and look at some planes because it's a little bit busier now, it's starting to fill up here. So let's go and have a look. There's one coming in now, and there's one taxiing in. So it's starting to, and you can smell that jet fuel. It's a great smell. So let's go and have a look. Okay, so I'm standing in front of probably, arguably the world's most iconic aircraft, the Boeing 747. It's behind me. Sadly, we can't go and have a look. It's all been locked up. The pilots are long gone. This flew in a couple of hours ago, but before I, we leave, they said we can go and have a look. We've been up the steps, but banging on the door. Maybe there's an engineer inside, but there's no one there. So we can't have a look. Uh, we can't go up to the flight deck uh, today, unfortunately. But let's just have a quick look. Yeah, yeah, we'll get on. That's uh, really cool. There's one slight difference between you guys. He's going to fly around the world, and it's going to take him six months and about <laughs> seventy <laughs> stops, and you take two stops in two days. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, cool. Captain let's get Scott, you bet. look at this guy. Eh? You never know who you're going to run into. <laughs> oh, it's awesome to meet you. Yeah, totally. 